What's up guys, welcome to another video, today we're doing number 10 video, and this time we're doing scientists. And sorry I didn't do one last week, because I was really busy in the holidays, I could have just done it tomorrow, but I wanted to keep the rules safe and actually just play it on the right day, and it is Sunday today, so that only means another top 10 video. And yeah, this list was really hard to make, because there's really good, all these scientists are really, really good, I like all of the scientists in the game so far. Though they're all not bad, like like the two worst ones are just all right. Like they're not too bad, and the rest of them are just like brilliant, like like really really good. And they're actually and they're actually the, this is my probably my best class in the game, one of my favorite classes in the game because they they heal your teammates. They do a lot of damage, and then, yeah, alright, so let's get into the moment 10 spot, the moment 10 spot, this is our alright scientist, but it's just the worst scientist, it is the archaeologist, so the archaeologist is like a downside to the astronaut, the astronaut is like kind of the same as this, but you get less ammo, less damage, and a less rate of fire, though. Just know there's more rate of fire than this one, and I think he's more accurate too. That's one's more accurate than the sun. Like I said this character is alright. He's the, but he's the worst scientist. With upgrades, he's still not brilliant. He's still alright when you don't have upgrades, but. The max damage you can do is 37, which is more than the astronaut, but the astronaut has more range and more damage than long range. Astronaut does, uh, archaeologist does 20 damage long range, but really, really close, it is around 37. So, as I do recommend playing this character to just rake him up. Other than that, just plays a different side just because there are way better options than this one, and he comes into mom 10. In the number 9 spot, we have got the Dr. Toxic. So Dr. Toxic only has 6 bullets, he only has 5 bullets actually, if you don't have any upgrades. Only adds 1 bullet if you have the ammo upgrade. And he does around... It is around like 33 damage is the max, I think. Let me just see. Yeah, I've. Oh God, can these AIs just leave me alone? Alright. And he does do toxic damage again. We'll close them to do that damage. In fact, you have to be really close. It is 45 damage, which is more than the chemist. But there are more. There are more scientists that do more damage in there. The marine biologist does more damage. The normal scientist does more damage. The computer scientist does more, does more damage. Because I refer to the fire one, the paleontologist, I can't really say his name. Yeah, the fire scientists are more better than the toxic one because it does more damage, it has more ammo. And the fire damage is more than the toxic damage, but the toxic damage you can just go close to them, so. When you reload it, you can just do toxic damage right there. Because the the fire scientist. Has a. Has a longer reload in the toxic toxic, so. So, yeah. Again, you have to be really close to the plants to do damage. So, here. See, like, I only did like 15 damage there, and that's I think it's, uh, I have the toxic upgrade. There's no damage upgrade for this character, I believe not. But yeah, guys, 
There are way better scientists out there. He doesn't do that much damage in uh, long range. But you can use your warps to get to close range and use like your heal session to like stop for a minute and just like get to the plants. But yeah, he, he comes in some moment nine. He's alright. He's an alright um, scientist. Let's see his upgrades. He's got. He's got a reload upgrade, but I don't put the reload upgrade on. Because it's absolutely pointless because he reloads so fast, but yeah, he comes in. And the number 8 spot, we have got the Pale Geologist. Oh, I said it right, I don't really know his name. I'm just going to call it the Fire Scientist. Well, I just said last time that it looked toxic. So he does around 41 damage to the max. And he doesn't have a damage upgrade, he has a fire upgrade. So kind of the same as uh, Dr. Toxic, but uh, a little bit better, he has more shots, He's, he has way more shots actually, he has 15 shots, and again I think that's with the arrow grade, and I think the fire damage is, I, I just think the fire damage is more valuable than the, than the Toxic, again fire and Toxic you're guaranteed to do it, but I just think the Toxic is slightly better than the fire. This is a really good scientist, but just I think their armor scientists are better and he, he doesn't do the, the maximum damage because he is a fire baron and you do here you, you are guaranteed to do less damage than the, the variance. He does have a fast he does have a quite fast rate fire. He's good at long range. Is around. Can't I can't hit him. He's not really that accurate. He does a little bit of special damage to you. So if there are multiple parts of the thing, you can do some special damage. But still, there's some other scientists that do more damage. And he, his damage is a little bit awful in long range. You need and you need this 16. But if he now if he gets some fire damage. Unless there's just some power healing each other, then you're guaranteed to do around f like f 35 damage. I don't know how long the fire goes on to, but the far if you have the fire upgrade, then you can do more damage. But yeah, guys, he comes into my mom 8. Let's see what, if I have upgrades for this character. I do. Right. So if you don't have the upgrades, he's a little bit weaker. But if you do, he comes a lot better. And he comes into Mummy. And the Mum 7, you guys are going to be very surprised about this one. And I give you a hint, it's a legendary. And it is the computer scientist. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm putting this guy, the scientist, really low on this list. You guys think this is the best scientist in the game. But, no. Okay. So the damage is around 50 damage, which is a lot of damage. But once you get more kills, this is why it starts getting really, really bad. You still a really good scientist, right? but just not the best. Right? Oops, I went to the base. I wanna kill the rose. Damn it! Oh, okay, I, my crunch mode isn't recessed, reset. Unless an AI hero revives me. Okay. I guess not. Then. And long range, there's around. 22 damage, which is still really good. Look, he only has seven shots. That's one extra shot in the Doctor Toxic, so you better keep that in mind. He has a faster rate of fire, but not the fastest. He he just he has a less rate of fire than the Page Logist. So this is what he's good bad about the thing. This is the crunch mode. You can. Look, I can barely see the cat this at all. I'm doing only 12 extra damage, so I don't see like what's the point of the crunch mode. The only thing good about it is move faster. 
If you're really good at seeing things, then this is the character you want to be, because you, you're, you're really good at zombies, and I'm not really good at using computer scientists, but... Right, he's still a really good scientist, I'm not gonna lie. But there's some more scientists that do more damage than this. The marine biologist and the normal scientist that do more damage. The normal scientist is 70 damage, so I don't know why you'll use this one, but he's got less rate of fire but, and less range, but... I don't really like the crunch mode that much, because it, it makes your screen more, more resistant to see. And... But, again, if, you, if you're really good at... Uh, like, seeing where your target is then this is the character you want to be because you can do a ton of damage you move fast and you can get like quite a lot of kills but still i'm not really good at like seeing my target at all like i'm not getting i'm not used to the crunch mode but if you put the gnome if you put the gnome hat on man you're gonna have a great time because you can't because you can see less more Oh yeah guys, he comes in mode 7. I'm sorry for you computer scientist fans. I just have to put him really low on this list. <sighs> okay, let's get into mode 6. So, in the number 6, you guys might be a little bit surprised with this one. But it is the Zoogeologist. Zoo, so the Zoogeologist is a close range character. You can't, let's see, look. You can't do any, you can't do any damage to that range. So you have to be really close. It's probably the fastest rate of fire out of all of them. Hold on. Yeah, the maxes damage you can do is pretty free. Reload is pretty fast. It's like medium. He only has seven bullets, in fact. He has six he has six bullets when you don't have the ammo grade, but if you have ammo grade he comes a lot better. If you don't have the upgrades with this character, then I don't recommend using the scientist, use the other scientist. Another scientist. And it does like a spread. So you'll be able to hit multiple plants with this. But there's still some other scientists about out there. There's a normal scientist that which does yeah, 70 damage. The only thing bad about this character is the range. It's really close, it's like the chemist. And a little bit of damage, the enemy just 33 damage and you have to get close range, it should be a little bit more than that, like at least like 40. 40 would be good enough because you can actually kill like anything with this. Because I don't think you can kill a torch with, with this, so you m might want to make, make a buff for this character because it is not going to be that good. But if you if you manage to reload, then you can kill the torch with then. So, but if he has a sneak shield, then you have to use free clips on it. So, yeah. And that's why he comes into number 6. And then number 5 spot, you guys see me play the science in a lot of my streams, and it is the physicist. So the physicist is, uh, of course, a lecturer of the scientists. It does a lecture champ damage, so if it... It's... It's probably the second most damaging zombie out there, because it does... 63 damage, which is insane, and it also has an electric bonus. What I don't really like about this character is the the rate of fire. The rate of fire is really slow, so you. Is the corn still here? I mean, it's over there. Get the corn. And also, you get this 10 damage, like long range, I think. He does 21 damage, which is not really that good, but if you get close to the plants, you can do some serious damage. Uh, you can just use your warps to get closer if you want to get close to them. 
and it's just really good. Just the amount of damage. The electricity just makes this character even better. I really like this character. It's not the best in my opinion, but it is a really good scientist. I recommend using it. And he comes into my in the number four spot, we have got the chemist. So the chemist is a short range character, like the zero two dollar. Just it does it has a short. It is a slower rate of fire than the zero or just because the zero or just can um, has a faster rate of fire than that one. But you get an extra shot, and the extra shot helps you a lot. So, like, if you want to, like, keep on point, you can use your heal station and just take them out easily. So, yeah. It does a lot of spread, so you. It's, it does, like, the same spread as the, um. Zodrola, just so you, you, you'll be able to, like, hit multiple fonts at the point. Do I even have any upgrades for this character? I do, alright. So we do just have two ammo upgrades, so if we don't have the upgrades for this character, then use a different scientist like the normal scientist or something. This scientist is not good when you don't have upgrades, because you get two ammo upgrades and a damage upgrade, which helps the character so much. And even the speed upgrade is really helpful for this character. Why is the lawn so empty? Like, why are there no pawns here? That's weird. Now uh, they're all over there. If you get close to the pond, again you can use your warps to get closer to them. You're gonna be doing a madly amount of damage. You're gonna guarantee you get the kill. <laughs> And it's just a really good scientist. The only thing about about it is the range and kind of the rate of fire is kind of slow. And the reloads kind of slows too. But the damage and like the spread is just so good. And he comes into more four. And the number three spot, we've only got three more scientists left. And it is the marine baller, just if I said it right. So the marine baller just has a really fast reload. You can see, look how fast I reload. That is really fast, because you, you just cross the fist there. He has seven bullets, that's one less than the um, astronaut, I mean not the astronaut, the um, chemist. Uh, the damage though, there's a really good damage. I'm not even hitting crits, and I'm hurting 50 damage. I don't even know what the crit damage is. I have to do it on my AI or something. It does 50 damage, so so you don't think you guys don't think that's a lot, but that is more than the chemist, the zoologist, and even the even the um, computer scientist, because he has a slow rate of fire. You got you got a really fast rate of fire, not the fastest, but. Even in range, he's still a really good character. Because still, there's another scientist that does more damage than this and has a faster rate of fire. You'll see it soon. I don't think I even have upgrades to this character. Like, I don't, put, I don't think I put upgrades to this character. Yet. I might have. Again, you can use your warps to get custom plants. Cause. But you've got to at least a key one warps. So yeah, I do have upgrades for this character. Again, so if you don't have upgrades, use a different scientist. Because this is not good scientist if you don't have the upgrades on it. He was OP in Gunfy 1. He was literally the best character in the game. But then I think they nerfed him and he got less damage. And I think less bullets too. I think he had around 10 bullets in uh, in Gone Through 1, which was so good, and his damage was around like 60, which was so good, which was even better.
The only thing bad about this character is kind of like the long range because of the, like the astronaut does more damage at long range so you can do more damage there and kind of like the accuracy that I mean if you if you get close to the plants you're guaranteed to hit them because you got this you got like this spread but it has a little bit of special damage too like a little tiny bit of special damage so if there's multiple ones on the point you can do special damage but anyway he comes into mother free he's a really good scientist I really love him and I think he's probably one of the best characters in the game okay so I'll be back all right, we are back. So in the Mama Two spot, we only got two scientists left, and it's probably the most damaging scientist so far. And it is the normal scientist. Man, I can't believe this is on Mama Two. The normal scientist is just OP. You'll see in a second. You'll see the damage in a second. That's with the temperature grade. So you, if you don't have the damage grade, then. 77 damage! It is 70 damage for the damage degree. What the hell? 77 damage. That is probably the most damaging. I think that is the most damaging characters in this game. Now the rate of fire is completely slow. It's not good in long range, but. Ben, if you get close to these plants, you are gonna do mad damage and you're gonna guarantee to get the kill. Like, oh my god. So, in long range, he does around 30 damage, which is like half the damage of, of the close range. In medium range, he does around 44 damage. So, non crits do 44. So, it's all. This character is only good if you're really good at landing crits. If you land a crit, you're going to hit yourself with 77 damage, which is insane. This character is so good, he, even without the upgrades, he, he is so good. And with the upgrades, he is even better. Like, oh my god. I've never seen a character do 77 damage before. Like, he's literally insane. The only bad thing is about it. But it is the like the long range damage, the just the body damage and the rate of fire. But the rest of the damage, like the the critical damage, the critical damage, they reload, and also the accuracy. It's just so good. Like it's like ten out of ten at this character. See how how much damage I do this range? If I can actually hit them. Come on, Liam. Stop being potato aim here. So it does run. So it does 22 damage, which is still good. Oh, why are you attacking me? I'm in your base, man. And he, he, his AIs are really saucy, but they But there's still one scientist that is more better than this. He he barely made it mumble one. And yeah, let's get straight into mom one. Scientists, normal scientists are really good scientists. Probably the best character in the game. So, but this character slightly got ahead. And that is the astronaut. So the astronaut, my oh god, it is OP, man. He's got 24 bullets. That, that shows that this character is going to be good. And the damage, oh my god. 26 damage and he has 21 bullets and the rate of fire the rate of fire is, is so good look at him. look at him. I'm just I just destroyed that beam there now I think I have upgrades on this character so so if I don't have upgrade if you don't have upgrades and you just know it's just because you'll be getting mad damage and actually let's take the upgrades off He's really accurate too, like, he's like 90% accurate. Alright. Yeah, I do have upgrades off, but let's take them off. No upgrades on, let's see how much I, where I do have. I've only got 20, so get four extra shots, which makes this character even better. You only do 22 damage. 
So it, this character is really, really good with the upgrades. Not really that good if you don't have the upgrades, but if you have the upgrades, man, this character is so good. The only thing, thing I hate about this character is maybe the reload. The reload's pretty long, but you can use the reload upgrade. It's not the most damaging character, but man, it's got a fast rate of fire, it's got so much ammo, and it also does a decent amount of damage too. This character, the astronaut and the normal sound are just a literally broken. They need to be nerfed, and I accidentally pressed the isolation button by accident. But yeah, guys, they, they're too OP, they had to be nerfed, like... The normal the astronaut should do 20 da 16 damage without the damage upgrade, and then 20 with the damage upgrade. And then in, with the astronaut, he should do he should have 16 bullets, and then with the ammo upgrade, he gets 20 bullets. So yeah, and the normal scientist, I don't even know. Like he should do around around 65 damage, and with the damage upgrade, he does 70. And oh my god! And with the ammo upgrade, he should he should only have like five bullets since he does that much damage. You can free shot, you can free shot torches with the normal scientist, and with the astronaut, you can only you only have to use like tw half your cloak. So you can take around, t so you can take two torches, even if it's in this loose shot, you'll still get rid of them. Now, if there's two torchwoods, you will have to use two clips. I mean, two torchwoods with the leaf shields, you have to use two clips, which is alright, because there's no way that you can find them on your own. But oh, you can use your heal station. You can even use you can even use your sticky exploding balls to do more damage, which is insane. Okay, guys, I think that'll be it for the top ten scientists. This was a really good. Set. Really good class. I really like this class. Yeah, probably my favorite class in the game. Entire game. We are so close to clean all the top tens. We only need cactus, and we don't need the cactus and the all stars. I could do one tomorrow because I didn't do one last week and last and and there was another top five that I didn't do last week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this top ten. Did you agree with my top scientists? You probably don't agree with computer scientists or. Dr. Toxic or something. But yeah, guys, leave a comment. What's your top ten? Do you agree or something? If you if you did, like the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And yeah, guys, peace out.